Ooh. Don't know what planet this is. All right, Sub Lieutenant Jones. Where have we landed? We've uh, landed on an uncharted rock structure. Somewhere outside the range of what was previously understood to be the limit of human interstellar travel. I see. Oh, wrong one. So, Sub Lieutenant Jones, what exactly do we know about this place? Well, it's an uncharted rock structure. Somewhere outside the range of what was previously understood to be the limit of human interstellar travel. You just said that. I see. I don't suppose you could enlighten the audience with anything a little more specific. Look, I'm called Alad Jones, probably the most generic, <laughs> stereotypical Welsh name in existence. It's clear that whoever's writing this hasn't bothered to do <laughs> a amount of research. I wouldn't count on anything specific. <laughs> What did I say earlier about giving the most stereotypical name in existence? And he just... <laughs> oh, that hurt. <sighs> How will we go about finding the location of the Beagle 2-2? Presumably we have some kind of app for that. Hmm, I'm afraid not. We could download one. Only cost 69p. 69 pence? <laughs> Bad when it's free. <laughs> that is right. actual over. The plan is we head out, walk around aimlessly, look at a load of stuff eliciting a series of wry remarks, then start clicking <laughs> everywhere until something happens. I linger in the background and provide a series of hints if you feel things are a little too vexing. Why break tradition, eh, Summerton <laughs> Jones? Let's go! Every point and click game ever. Hello. No doubt filled with epic loot, as they say on the YouTube. Hey. Uh, cheers, Bert. Oh. down there. What's he got to say? Look, boyo, over there. Where? By that rock. Would it trouble you immensely to use another point of reference, Sub Lieutenant Jones? Fine, boyo. By that gorilla. Good grief! That's the second biggest monkey I've ever seen. I think he's holding the beagle too, too. Put that down, you damn dirty ape. Come on, Sub Lieutenant Jones. Let's get after him. Because there's a ladder. <clears throat> it's a ladder. Where did it come from? <laughs> and how did you nail it to the ground so fast? <clears throat> Fifty-seven percent through the game. Yes, uh, I feel it, it is slightly better than No Man's Sky. Oh, come on, go this way. Is that a bone sticking out of the floor? I'm gonna pick up a rock. It's a rock! The isolation of space has forced me to talk to the furniture just yet. <laughs> Sorry, Pokemon. Just found an Abra. I need Abra candies. I'm meant to go this way now? Ooh, that looks. Why am I looking at rock? It's another rock. These are all parts of the beagle. Oh, we're meant to be following the trail. Wait, what? It really does look nice. And not too expensive. 
Why is there a sh shrubbery in space? No point leaving without a souvenir. <laughs> Just stolen someone's trowel. And look, th there's another spaceship. Oh, it's the French. Um, I think I should be talking to these guys. Um. <clears throat> I broke the game again. We're not on speaking terms. I'm meant to be doing this. We're not on speaking terms. <clears throat> we talk to Alex. Sub Lieutenant Jones. Hi, for you. So, <clears throat> any ground-breaking ideas? Talk to these Are guys. Still talking about rocks. No, I feel we've mined that particular topic for all um, its worth. I'd say we've only just scratched the surface. You're trying, Sub-Lieutenant Jones. Very trying. Don't mind me! Well, there's these guys here, and for some reason I can't click on them. Um, every time I try to talk to this guy, walks up here, so I don't know if this game's broken or not. <clears throat> We're not on speaking terms. something I was meant to click? I feel that this game is just a, a tiny bit broke now. I don't want to mess up my speed. Well, I don't know why there's rocks here for me to click on, and for some reason I can't talk to the NPCs which are over there. <clears throat> this is one of those situations where you're stuck between a rock and, well, more rocks. I'm stepping on the damn thing now. Beagle 2-2. Two, two. That is the one. I think, this, I think something's gone wrong. But this is an indie game. Old shift to run. See, that's what I was looking at before. Damn you all! Just got an achievement for that. Right. But like No Man's Sky, it's kind of broken in places. No 
avoid leaving without a souvenir. Here we go. Not so fast, you English monkers. What do we have here, Pierre? Ah. Well, I see. Well, it would appear that you are too late, monsieur. English. Captain Frank Lee English. I'd just like to clarify that I'm not actually English. I'm Welsh. Yeah! Your English and miss your Welsh. It would appear <coughs> that you have been too late. Monster Gordon and Pierre and moi have beaten you and your queen to this rich, fertile, nouveau, nouveau world. Way, a petite landscaping required, uh, but soon the crown you are defecating with your presence will be the location of my vast winery, growing the sweetest French crepes the world has ever tasted. And everyone will eat crepes, wear berets, carry baguettes, ride bicyclettes, and all the other things we French like to do. You're insane, <laughs> am I? <laughs> By exhausting a list of social stereotypes. Solving a juvenile puzzle. By the power of Grayskull! Oh, Grayskull! I have the power! Oh, my you, I can't believe you actually said that. <laughs> oh, I just got another cheat for that. Jeez. <clears throat> By exhausting a list of social We intend to ridicule you into submission. Exhausting an extensive list of social stereotypes conceived through years of suspicion and ignorance. Then what? Are you going to celebrate with a petit crumpet? Eh? Wash down with a cup of tea? Expose your crooked teeth while you laugh regaling this tale with your unsatisfied wives? Ha! Duh! Can't play that game, Monsieur English. <laughs> I fear you underestimate the extent to which a conceited self-confidence fueled by national historical achievements can profit one in such circumstances. <laughs> We've been perfecting this same method for centuries. You'll have to do better than that. Well, we're gonna solve a juvenile puzzle. Honestly, I imagine this standoff will be resolved through the completion of some sort of moderately juvenile, yet entertaining puzzle. How can you be so sure? Well, it's got us this far. Uh, well, we could... Look! A three-headed monkey! Where? Quick, Sub-Lieutenant Jones! Run! Oh, man! How did I fall for that? <laughs> but you're right. I am too trusty. Pardonnez-moi, <laughs> I'm a sucker for the blue eyes. What now, boyo? Well, before we can legitimately lay claim to this new, new world, we need to remove their flag and hoist ours in its place. Why? Didn't they teach you history at school, <laughs> Sub Lieutenant Jones? That's just how these things work. Let's try and salvage something. Like a spare wheel nut. Or a friend of dignity. Before it's untimely passing, the Beagle 2-2 appears to have discovered a rock. Well, it's not quite too cup. Don't be fooled by the rocks that I've got. I'm still, I'm still Francis from, uh, talking. Hmm, <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we've got a rock. Now what do we do with said rock? Oh, didn't we have cheese earlier? Why can't we give him cheese? can be salvaged. Hang on. Is it got to do with anything of those rocks that came down here? It 
It's a rock. Can I use rock on rock? Best hold on to my weighted companion. If I'm unable to find a solution to our current dilemma, I can always use this rock to vent my frustration on something brittle belonging to Alad. <laughs> Can't use these two together. I don't understand why there's rocks here. Like, what's the point of them being clickable but not being able to do much with them? It's another rock. This is one of those situations where you're stuck between a rock and well, more rocks. Clip to me, why don't you, Alad? Oh, hang on. Is there something to do with the frogs in the tank? Confusing me why there's got rocks here which are clickable. There are a lot of rocks. I doubt combining these two will prove to be particularly useful. Can I go this way. Hey Chicken McNugget, how's it going? Rocks! There's more rocks! Thanks for the follow, dude. What is that closely? Welcome to the stream. Um, I'm playing this crazy game. <coughs> It's on Steam, it's Her on sale. Majesty's spaceship imperialize. As beautiful as she is subtle. I bored? I won't be long, Sub Lieutenant Jones. Amuse yourself until I get back. I'll try and recollect the last couple of hours. <laughs> <clears throat> again <sighs> there we go yeah so this is a kind of an indie game and I've managed to break it a few times by doing get him stuck on the sprites. <clears throat> okay. I'm down. Exit airlock. Hey! Woo, we've done it! Right, cause in this room, I reckon something to do with the frogs. Because in this room, there's frogs. Which I made them fall asleep. But then there's something to do with this. Hmm. It doesn't appear to be working. I can't use these two together. It looks like a grab machine. <clears throat> Do I have to put money in it first, or...? 